Hello grade 8 students, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Angelito Panuncio. In this lesson, you will learn how to factor completely polynomials involving factors of perfect square trinomials. But before we proceed to this lesson, let me ask you first, what is the product of these two binomials? Let's say we have x plus y squared. Or let's write this in expanded form. We have x plus y multiplied to x plus y. Right, so during your grade 7, you have learned how to get the product of these two binomials using FOIL method and using the square of a binomial in your special products. So this time, let's use FOIL method. Uh, FOIL method, f stands for the first term, x multiplied by x, we have x squared, plus outer term, x multiplied by y, so we have x, y. Next, inner term, we have y multiplied by x, so we have x, y. Then, L stands for the last term. Y multiplied by Y. So we have Y squared. Combining similar term, we have X squared plus XY plus XY, we have 2XY plus Y squared. So this is the product of our binomial. And this product is what we call the perfect square trinomials. Okay? Likewise, if we have x less y square using square of a binomial, again, the technique for square of a binomial is square the first term. So we have x squared. Next, second step, get the product of the first term and the second term, then twice it, or twice the product of the first term and the second term. So, x multiplied by negative y, we have negative xy, then twice it, so we have negative 2xy. Then the last step for square of a binomial, so square the last term or square the second term so we have negative y then square it so we have positive y squared so again this product or this square of a binomials is what we call perfect square trinomials reversing the process from x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, the factor is x plus y squared. In this sample, x squared less 2xy plus y squared, the factor is x less y squared. So that's it. The, fa the factors of perfect square trinomials is the square of a binomial. Then the product of the square of a binomial is the perfect square trinomial. This suggests that in factoring perfect square trinomial, the result is the square of a binomial. The first term is the square root of the first term of our trinomial. The second term is the square root of the last term of our trinomial. And the sign we use here is depend on the middle term of the trinomial. So it is important to check if a given trinomial is really perfect square trinomial. So how? Let me give you first an example. Number one, let's say we have y squared plus 8y plus 16. 
Okay, to tell you if this given trinomial is really perfect square trinomial, is the first term perfect square? Yes, we have y multiplied by y. Next, is the last term a perfect square? Yes, 4 multiplied by 4. Next, is the middle term twice the product of the square root of y square and 16? So let us check what is the square root of y square. We have y. How about in the square root of 16? We have 4. So it is twice the product of the square root of the first term and the last term. So to multiply by y, we have 2y. Then multiply by 4, we have 8y. So, it means that this middle term is twice the product of the square root of y square and 16. Therefore, this trinomial is really perfect square trinomial. So, let me give you another example. Example number 2. So, let's say we have 4x squared plus 6xy plus 9y squared. So, let us check if this trinomial is really perfect square trinomial. So, how? Is the first term a perfect square? Yes. 2x multiplied by 2x. Next, is the last term a perfect square? Yes, 3y multiplied by 3y. Next, is the middle term twice the product of the square root of 4x square and 9y square? So let us check the square root of 4x square. So we have 2x. Next, the square root of 9y squared. So we have 3y. It's the middle term twice the product of the square root of 4x squared and 9y squared. Let us check. 2 multiplied by square root of 4x squared is 2x. Multiplied by square root of 9y squared is 3y. So what's the product? 2 multiplied by 2x, we have... 4x multiplied by 3y, we have 12xy. So since this is not the same with our middle term, it means that this trinomial is not really perfect square trinomial. In factoring perfect square trinomial, there are three steps. First, get the square roots of the first term and last terms. Second, Use the sign of the middle term of the trinomial between these roots. Third, raise the binomial obtained in step 2 to the second power. By considering this example, x squared plus 14x plus 49. First, let us check if this given trinomial is really perfect square trinomial. So, is the first term perfect square? Yes, x multiplied by x. Is the last term perfect square? Yes, 7 multiplied by 7. Next, is the middle term twice the product of the square roots of x squared and 49? Yes, we have x plus 7. So x multiplied by 7, we have 7x, then twice is 14x. It means that this trinomial is perfect square trinomial. Okay? So let's factor it out. First step, get the square root of the first term and the last term. So what is the square root of our first term? X square, we have x. Then what is the square root of the last term? We have 7. Next, second step, 
use the sign of the middle term of the trinomial between these roots. What is the sign in our middle term of a trinomial? So we have positive. So positive yung gagamitin natin. Next, raise the binomial obtained in step 2 to the second power. Then, square lang natin. So this is the factors now of our given trinomial. Let's have another example. Let's say, y square plus 8y plus 16. Okay, check lang natin kapag itong given trinomial is perfect square trinomial. First term, perfect square, yes. Last term, perfect square, yes. Then, is it twice the product of the square root of y square and 16? Yes. Y multiplied by 4, we have for y then twice 8, 8y. So this trinomial is perfect square trinomial. Then, first step, get a square root of the first term and the last term. What's the square root of our first term? We have y square, so y. Next, last term, what is the square root of 16? We have 4. Next, second step, use the sign of the middle term of the trinomial between these roots. Ano yung sign niya? We have positive. So, positive ang gagamitin natin. Next step, raise the binomial obtained in step 2 to the second power. So, square lang natin siya. Then, this will be the answer now or the factor now of our given trinomial. Let's have these given problems. Factor each PST. For the first problem, we have x squared plus 18x plus 81. So the first step in factoring perfect square trinomial, get the square root of the first term and the last term. So what is the square root of our first term? The square root of x squared is x. Next, square root of our last term? Square root of 81, we have 9. Then for the second step, use the sign of the middle term of the trinomial between these roots. So ano ba yung sign ng middle term natin? We have positive. Therefore, positive din yung gagamitin natin between the two roots. Next, third step tayo. Raise the binomial obtained in step 2 to the second power. So square lang natin siya. And then, so na yung magiging sagot or magiging factors ng ating perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, the factors of x squared plus 18x plus 81 is x plus 9 squared. Next tayo, second problem. We have 1 less 12x plus 36x squared. So, the first step, get the square root of the first term and the last term. So, ano square root ng first, ter first term natin? We have 1. Square root of 1 is 1 din. Next, square root of our last term. Square root of 36, we have 6. Then, square root of x square, we have x. So, yan. Nakuha na natin yung two roots natin. Next step, use the sign of the trinomial between these roots. Ano yung sign ng middle term ng trinomial natin? We have negative. Therefore, negative din yung gagamitin natin between two roots. Next step, raise the binomial obtained in step 2 to the second power. So, square lang natin siya. Yeah. Then, ito na yung magiging sagot sa ating trinomial. Or ito na yung magiging factors ng ating perfect square trinomial. Yes? Okay. Problem number 3 tayo. We have 49x squared less 56xy plus 16y squared. Unang step, kunin ang square root ng first term and square root ng last term natin. Ano bang square root ng ating first term? Square root of 49, we have 7. Square root of x squared, we have x. So, yun yung square root ng first term natin. 
Next tayo, square root ng ating last term. 16, y squared. Square root of 16, we have 4. Square root of y squared, we have y. Ayan, yung tools natin, 7x, then 4y. Second step, ano ba yung sign ng middle term ng trinomial natin? So, negative, therefore, negative din yung gagamitin natin between the two roots. Third step tayo, i-raise lang natin siya ng second power. So, ito na yung magiging sagot natin sa ating perfect square trinomial. Or ito na yung magiging factors ng ating perfect square trinomial. So, the factors of 49x squared less 56xy plus 16y squared is 7x less 4y squared. Gets? Next problem tayo. And problem number 4. Or problem letter D. So, 48x cubed less 24x squared y plus 3xy squared. So, kung mapapansin nyo, you have common monomial factor. So, ano yung common monomial factor natin dito? Ayan. 48, 24, then 3. Ano yung GCF natin? We have 3. Ayan. My variable x, my variable x, then my variable x. Therefore, kukunin din natin yung variable x as the GCF. Ayan. Lowest exponent, 3, 2, 1, 1 ang magiging lowest exponent natin sa variable x. Next, divide each term by the GCF. Okay? So, 48 divided by 3. We have 16. X cubed divided by x, we have x squared. Next, less, happy subtraction here. 24 divided by 3, we have 8. X squared divided by X, we have X. Then, copy variable Y. Plus, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. X divided by X is equal to 1. Then, Y squared. So, itong nasa loob ng parenthesis natin ay perfect square trinomial din siya. So, i-factor out natin. We have 3X. In factoring perfect square trinomial, the first step is get the square root of the first term and the last term. So what's the square root of our first term? Square root of 16, we have 4. Then square root of x squared, we have x. So last term tayo, square root of y squared, we have y. Then second step, yung gamit na sign ng middle term sa trinomial natin. So, negative, negative din gagamitin natin. Then, third step, erase lang natin siya na 2. Second power. Then, this will be the answer now to our given problems 48x cubed less 24x square y plus 3x y square. So, ito na po yung magiging factors natin. So once again, this is perfect square trinomials. Ayan, we're done. I hope na meron na naman kayong natutunan sa video ito na inyong pinanood. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share to your classmates, and then if you have clarification, ask your teacher. Bye-bye!